what is up you guys welcome back to my channel i know that this is um not like me i don't always post vlogs but we have some exciting things happening and i figured let's just open up a little bit and bring you into my world so today it's going to be a busy busy day we are actually so we rented out a storage unit because we are outgrowing our house we're doing some remodeling and we just needed to store the stuff for some time so i'm going to be picking up the keys and stuff for that place right now I have to go to Target, I have to pick up some moving boxes. There's a lot to do, so I'm just bringing you guys along. We're also gonna be getting ready for our Tennessee trip. We're going to be getting ready for our Christmas pictures. There's a lot happening, so I'm just gonna kind of take you guys along that whole process in this vlog, so I hope that you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you guys don't miss a single upload. I'm sorry if you guys hear the heat going off. It is 30 degrees here in Chicago, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but let's go ahead and just jump into the video. Let's go. And it goes a little yeah. Here's the storage unit. Basically, we needed this for baby stuff. So here we go. So we started taking out a bunch of stuff. We have our luggage because we're gonna be packing. I'm already working on all the laundry and then we're gonna be packing that next. I have medium, small boxes. Everything's like literally lined up here in my hallway um, because this one's empty, but like for example, this is some of my wedding stuff. The card box that we use, this has a bunch of like leftover flowers, um, just like random things that we were using like at the wedding that I don't have the room to store in my house right now. This is some leftover fall holiday stuff um, in this box. So that's basically what we're doing. My kids also had this huge, huge dollhouse. It's like almost as tall as me. I have to put it in storage for now. We just don't have the room for it, so... So I had bought the kids a little camera to take on vacation and she's very excited for it. It has like a whole memory card and everything in here and they're able to take pictures with it. But it's charging right now so she's very excited for this. The next room that I kind of started organizing is my room. I know <laughs> it looks like a hot mess right now, but I swear it looks a lot better than what it used to. So this is where I pretty much sit and record. I have my main camera here. I have all my lights and I'm actually, so I haven't used my vlog camera in so long, but since we're going on vacation, I started charging it up. I started playing around with it and making sure that it's good to go. Like I was so scared this thing was not even going to turn on and yeah, it's ready to go. So we're definitely going to be doing some vlogging on the trip and I'm excited for that. So I haven't used that in a very long time. Oh, you should put your girl. It's actually her birthday today. She's 10 years old. So let's do a quick little happy birthday. Happy birthday, baby girl. She's like, what? Hey bud, what friend? Who's your little baby? These are my little babies. Look at the little babies. Hey, who's a good boy? Hi, guys. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, who's a good handsome boy? We are making a pit stop to pick up some Happy Meals for the kids because they're hungry. Hey! And we are officially in Tennessee. Look at the mountains, you guys. Oh my goodness. Look at the mountains. We are up in the mountains. This is where we're going to be staying for the next week. And yeah, I'm super excited. We just pulled up to the house. My hubby is putting the coat in to make sure that we can get inside before getting everything down. But... We are literally in the middle of nowhere. We're in the top of a mountain. Look at the sun. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So, let's go and check it out. 
I'm so excited. Mommy, we'll do a little house tour and everything, you guys. There's my hubby. Mommy, no. Whoa, look at the view back here, babe. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go inside. Welcome. Ooh. Wow, this is nice. So right when you walk in, you have some stores that lead upstairs. And then here's the front door. And that's the outside. And this is what the living room area looks like. There's a bathroom in there, and then we have the kitchen. And then you go up the stairs. Let's go oh. all the way upstairs. This view is absolutely beautiful. And we have some nice barn doors. Here is the first bedroom. Super warm in here. Very, very cozy vibes. There's a barn door with a um, laundry room in there. All right, so here is the bathroom. Well, one of the bathrooms. The tub, the shower, the sink. And then we walk into the second bedroom, which is linked to the first one. And then, like I said, there was Laundry unit in here. Very nice. And then the most stunning part about it all this bedroom has a porch. So beautiful. I just got out of the shower and now I'm gonna just do my nighttime skincare. Lately I've been using my Clarins, this serum, this is a double serum. It's a little pricey. Grab one pump and really just let this sink into the skin. Going with my... This next step is usually when I go in with my retinol, but I'm waiting for mine to actually come in the mail. So for now, I'm using this different gel, which is this one right here. This is the one I'm using right now. I'm just gonna grab a little pump and focus this on my cheeks. And again, I let this work in my skin for a couple of minutes before I do anything else. And now my hair. And because I am new to the whole like curly hair thing, I don't know why this lighting is really yellow, but I am using this Curl Shaper Memory Maker from, ooh, I don't know how to pronounce this, but this is a product right here. I literally just grabbed a couple pumps of that in my palm and I kind of just like spread that in my hair. It smells so good. And this is kind of what I get. We're gonna flip it and do the same exact thing on the other side. And then basically kind of like create those waves, you know? Um, is this how you're supposed to do it? I don't know, but I'm gonna grab a little bit more. So it's kind of in my hair routine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and then I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. I've kind of been going between two of them. Sometimes I go in with my Clinique Moisture Surge and sometimes I go with this newer one for me. This is the Coco Kind Resurrection um, Cream. This one right here. So my skin is really, really, really dry right now. So we're gonna go in with this Coco Kind one because it's really, really moisturizing. And I have a little bit of dry patches like on my eyes because the weather change is crazy. So I'm gonna go in with my CeraVe healing ointment. You guys may have seen this. It's been all over TikTok. I don't know why I'm so out of breath right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply my moisturizer and then yeah, that pretty much wraps up the night for tonight. It's already gonna be like nine o'clock. Technically it's eight because where I am, it's central time and now I think we're in Eastern time, if I'm not mistaken. So we're like an hour ahead right now, which is a little weird for me, but it is what it is. We're gonna put the kids to sleep and then we have a fun day tomorrow. Um, I really wanna wake up early and catch the sunset, or no, the sunrise on the balcony that I showed you guys earlier because I think it would be so pretty. 
I will see you guys tomorrow. But really quickly, I mean, do you guys see that? My hair used to not be like this, and now it is, so we're kind of just working with it. Um, yeah, like I said, I've really been going in between a couple of products here. This is one of the products that I've been using. This is the one that I showed you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is now Friday. This is the first day that we wake up here in Tennessee and oh my goodness, the view from the balcony in the bedroom that we're staying in is out of this world. Like I'm gonna insert a clip of the sunrise from this morning at 7 a.m and it was beautiful but we do have some fun stuff planned for today so i'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready um with my makeup stuff and i mean this natural lighting here is superb so i'm gonna start getting ready look at that that is so beautiful this is the view from our bedroom so here's the bed you look out the window and you're literally in mountains i cannot get over it like i love being in the mountains it's just so peaceful so Let's go ahead and get ready. All right, quick update. I have my complexion done, but we're gonna take a little small break. Breakfast is ready, so let's go. Okay, so we are now in the car and we are heading out to Knoxville, which is about 45 minutes from where we're staying. Let me show you guys where we're at right now. All right, so we will see you soon. Let's go family. Huh? Let's go family. Yeah. Look at how big that is. We were just up there, all the way up there. And now we found a little local coffee shop. So that's where we're heading now. But this is Knoxville. So pretty. I love that it's like historical, but it's like a mixture of like modern city. It's very nice. We officially just got back to the cabin. We spent all day in Knoxville. It was so much fun. We went to a museum. We went to, we actually went and drove through um, the University of Tennessee where they play football. We saw their stadium. We saw a bunch of stuff. So it was a really fun day, but now I just need to relax. I'm so tired. My legs hurt. I'm tired. And um, yeah, we will see you soon. These look like tall buildings, but they're not like as big as the skyscrapers in Chicago, right? These look tiny. Ooh. And it's weird because it's like, it's still not flat, you know? It's still know. like... That bridge over there. You liking your vacation so far? Yep. I'm hungry. All right, we are coming up to the Country Hall of Fame. We just finished eating at Luke Bryan's restaurant. This is what Nashville looks like. So cool. Oh my goodness, I am so tired. We just got home, it is 8 p.m. I don't know what this is, Eastern time? I don't know. But it is now 8 p.m. here. We just got back from Nashville. We literally were out all day and it was so much fun. 
I feel like my heart belongs here. I would totally relocate here, but <laughs> um, I love just being out here and being in the country. It's just, I don't know, I love it, but it was so much fun. We did a couple of different things. We walked around all downtown um, Nashville. We ended up going to Luke Bryan's restaurant, which was my favorite part. Um, we had some of his beers that he owns actually, Tulane Brewery, um, which is so cool. You can only find those locally around here. So um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We went to the Country Music Hall of Fame. Um, we checked out a Starbucks there. And what else did we do? We did a couple of different things downtown. So it was a lot of fun, but it is eight o'clock now. We just got home. I'm so tired. <sighs> My watch, this is like the only time where you'll see my watch like go over the walking distance that I'm supposed to be doing the daily. But I'm going to go ahead and shower. I'm going to take this makeup off. By the way, I am trying the Revlon Hydrating Foundation and I have to say it's really good. Like, I like it. My skin looks really good. It's moisturizing and I have the Jaclyn Luminous Setting Powder on top of it. Um... And it's just been so good. I used it yesterday and today, all day. So I do my makeup in the morning. And we don't come home till like 8 o'clock. Excuse my kids screaming downstairs. But yeah. So it's been really long wearing. And I've been liking it. But I'm going to go ahead and shower. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm so tired. Bye. We just got back, we went out for a quick breakfast and we went to a local coffee shop. We are gonna explore the back because usually we're gone when it's like bright out, so we're gonna take advantage that it's nice and see the backyard. Afuera. And right now, all we're going to do is pretty much chill. We're going to make some lunch right now. We're going to watch the football game because we still support the Chicago Bears, even though we are way over here. But I wanted to show you guys really quickly the makeup that I brought. It looks a little messy right now because I've just kind of been throwing everything because we've been on the go. Today is a little bit more of a chill, relaxed day. But let me show you guys the makeup that I packed. Well, I bought this little caboodle from Walmart. And... Ooh, and then I also packed my little Laura Lee Los Angeles um, little pouch thing. So in this, I basically packed um, a random liquid IV, some brushes. I packed all of my Milani Color Fetish lipsticks. Um, as you guys can see, I literally brought every single shade that you can possibly think of. And I brought all of my Jaclyn Cosmetics lip liners um, because those are my favorite. And then in here, the basic stuff that I brought was, for sure, I had to bring my e.l.f. Halo Glow. Like, that's an absolute must. I also did bring my SPF Sunbum Glow 30. I love this stuff. And then for foundations, I brought my current favorites, which is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Serum. And then, like I mentioned the other day, I am trying this one out, and I've been loving it. So I brought this one as well. This is the Color Stay Long Wear Makeup. This is the hydrating one for normal to dry skin. And then the other day, I did a video for Wet n Wild and I ended up re like falling in love with this. So I brought it along. Those are the only foundations I brought. And then I also brought my Laura Lee Los Oop. I also brought my Laura Lee Los Angeles blush aesthetic, mainly because um, I didn't want to bring like single blushes, and this just kind of has it all, and it's beautiful. The one from Manny MUA, Lunar Beauty, but I accidentally cracked one of the blushes and it was just going to fall everywhere. So I did bring his Nude Prism palette, because this is just like the perfect everyday go-to. You can do so many things with this. This is what I've been wearing every single day that we've been here. I also brought this lip pencil bundle from Moira. This is the like nude color ones. Love their lip liners. And then I brought this little pouch with some of these little puffs and my sponge in there. And this, I think, Paula's Choice. Yeah, Paula's Choice ended up sending me like a bunch of these. So I brought that with me. Setting sprays. I brought my Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the Vitamin C one. I really like that one. I also brought my Max Fix, Mac Fix Plus Stay Over one. And then I brought one more. I don't remember which one it was, but lashes. I brought 
two different kiss styles and then I brought um, in here the there's two different styles in here I have the birdie seductive and another kiss one that I kind of store in here I brought of course my favorite palette ever this is the Jaclyn setting palette in light to medium but let me show you guys I mean like look at this thing I it's been used and abused I've hit pan on all four shades like it's time to get a new one but I refuse to let this product go away so I'm using it till the very end. And then my favorite setting powder ever. This is the Jaclyn, um, the one with her mom. This is the Sheer Light Powder Move Loose Setting Powder. Love this stuff. Makes my skin look so good. My bronzer, I brought the Resculpt in Medium from Haley's Beauty. And then, what else is in here? Oh my god, this. I have been loving this. The Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. This has been my go-to. Like, look at this. I've been using it every single day, but... I also brought some Moida stuff, the Stay Golden Cream Bronzer, and the Soft Focus Powder. And then just like a bunch of random things in here. This is my go-to mascara. I love this one. The Big Mood Waterproof one is specifically from e.l.f. This is a must. Like, you need this one. And then I brought some random, like, stuff in here as well. But that's pretty much all the makeup that I packed for this trip. These are my, like, essentials, must-haves, and I had to bring them with me. So yeah, that's my essential stuff that I like had to bring, no doubt, no questions about it. But um, right now my hubby is making some steaks downstairs with some veggies. So we're going to go have some lunch and then we'll see what else the day brings. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Today is a huge day. We are going to be going to the Titanic Museum. It's actually in Pigeon Forge. So we're going to be heading out there right now. I don't have a lipstick on, but I mean, my makeup looks cute. I look, I'm feeling myself today. I'm wearing like this cardigan and all white, white boots. And I'm very excited. I've been waiting for this moment, this whole vacation, and it's finally happening. So let's go. That's what was up. I lost a bottle back to another guy. Brad's doing it again where he just starts, he just went off. Big Daddy's Pizzeria. We just got down the car. We are going to be eating at Big Daddy's Pizzeria. We are in, I think this is Pigeon Forge. Very touristic, but you see the Smoky Mountains out there, which is where we're going to be going in a little bit. We just get um. Mira el reloj. Sí. Se cayó. Sí. Mira el barco, chicas. Finally made it to Titanic. Yay! I'm so excited. Great, we are finally at the Titanic. I'm so excited. Vamos. Wow. This is crazy. Don't run.
so neat. Touch the 28 degree water. Oh my god, that's cold. Oh my god. That is so cold. Is it cold, Mama? Tienes frío? Está bien frío, verdad? This is where the Titanic hits the iceberg. We're supposed to touch the 28 degree water. Let me see. Huh? The iceberg that it hit. Wow, this is insane. 10 out of 10 recommend. Right, honey? 10 out of 10 recommend this place? Yeah, it's cool. This is really cool. Continuing the tour. drive through Manny. We got a white mocha. Did you get yours hot? Yeah. And I got an iced horchata latte. It's not focusing on it. This is, what is this called? Black Rifle. Black Rifle Coffee, Coffee Company. Company. Oh, there's a sign right there. <coughs> Pretty good. You like yours, honey? Yeah. Now we're stuck in traffic. close these curtains. Ooh, there we go. Alright, we just got back. I'm closing. Ooh, I'm closing these curtains because I forgot to close them before we left and closing these blinds. Nobody needs to see us. Even though we're literally like on the top of a mountain, nobody can really see us. But let me set you guys down here. Alright, so we just got back and unfortunately this is our last night in the house or the cabin. Um, my husband actually has to go back to work. I actually have to go back to work too. We were supposed to leave on Wednesday. We're leaving a day early now, so I'm so sad, but it was such a wonderful experience. Like, I, I would honestly move out here. I love it out here. Um, it was just a great experience. Like. I feel like we really got to see a lot of Tennessee. Um, we got to experience a lot of things. We went to Nashville, Knoxville. Um, we went to Pigeon Forge, um, Gatlinburg, like the, I forgot how to pronounce it, Sur Surinville, where um, Dolly Parton is actually, that's her hometown. We actually visited that. We went out to the um, Great Smoky Mountains Park. We got on top of mountains. We took a tons of pictures. We literally like, I feel like experienced so much of Tennessee we really got to experience it like to the max and yeah I, I can't be any happier with this trip like it, it was so beautiful so 
Wemi and my family are trying to do is we're basically choosing like one or two states a year that we're gonna visit and last year we went to Kentucky and I think the previous year was Minnesota I can't remember I can't remember that far back but we are really big into like nature parks and visiting and just seeing like nature at its fullest so um, I'm really really excited to do that and just plan our next trip but honestly, like, I'm so happy leaving Tennessee and knowing that we got to experience a lot of it. Um, we went to a lot of local places. Pretty much everything that we did out here was, like, local places, local coffee shops, and things like that. So, I'm super excited. We're going to have some dinner, pack up, shower, and just kind of get ready for our trip back. So, yeah, let's see what else, what else we do before I leave. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up my vlog. I'm gonna wrap it up here and I will see you guys very soon. Thank you guys for, you know, watching along and if you guys are interested in more vlogs and just more of my personal life like this, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I feel so shy like showing my personal life but I feel like I should open up a little bit more with you guys so you guys can really see who I am and get to know me a little bit more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys very soon in my next. Ciao!